quick, yell something that you associate with the game Street Fighter. <laughs> if you didn't yell Hadouken or Shoryuken, you probably yelled Sonic Boom. Now you may know what a sonic boom is and even some of the physics behind it, but what you may not know is that if you use the physics of a sonic boom in a clever way, the famous Street Fighter attack makes total sense. <laughs> the sonic boom is the signature special attack of the character Guile. He yells sonic boom, quickly curves his fist through the air, and the resulting wave travels towards opponents causing damage on impact. It looks like any other impossible video game attack, but the cool thing is, with one simple caveat, Guile is doing something perfectly scientifically plausible. But before we get to that, what is a sonic boom? Simply put, a sonic boom is what happens when the pressure waves coming off something like a fist can't get out of the way of that fist fast enough, and so they bunch up into a shock wave. Wave motion fist is actually what Hadouken means. Tiny Hadouken. Tiny Hadouken. A more intuitive way to think about this is waves in water. So take this boat, for example. If it was just sitting in the water, motionless, but still going up and down, it would be creating ripples that would be coming off of it at some speed. Now, if the boat started traveling towards me, those waves that it would create would bunch up at the front and extend at the back. And at some speed, the boat would actually be traveling faster than the waves it was creating, and so the waves coming off of the boat would bunch up into larger waves, a kind of wave front, shock wave, or wake. And you know where those waves eventually land? On the shore you can. <laughs> To get the same wake in air, you'd have to go faster than pressure waves do in air, faster than sound does, beyond 340 meters per second, and Mach 1. So to perform a Street Fighter style sonic boom, Guile's fist would have to be going at least that fast. Oh, does he wear ear? Hello? Hello? <laughs> but punching faster than the speed of sound isn't enough on its own. There is a way to make a sonic boom even bigger if you're clever, and Guile apparently is. Even though his hair is not. When something like a fighter jet goes beyond Mach 1, the energy that the sonic boom creates will hit everything under the so-called boom carpet. And the boom carpet is defined as every point on the ground where the sonic boom will touch. And you can use a mock cone to see where that will happen. The mock cone is just a three-dimensional representation of the sonic boom's energy in air. So if you were right under here, you'd feel it. But as you can see, if I were to just punch supersonically at some dude's face, the boom carpet is not gonna hit where I want to hit. But that's fine. Guile's sonic boom punches aren't directed at an opponent. No, when Guile performs a sonic boom, he punches his fist in a curving motion away from an opponent. And that's why it would work. Instead of visualizing where a sonic boom is felt with a mock cone, you can visualize where it will be felt with a so-called ray cone. So imagine if I punched upwards supersonically. By tracing from where this motion will lead, I can outline where the boom carpets will be. Now watch what happens if I punch in a curved motion like Guile. If I punch supersonically, but in a curving motion, you can actually calculate that where the boom carpets will land, they will overlap and amplify each other and become what scientists actually call a super boom. If that were to happen, you would feel this more than you otherwise would. If Guile is curving supersonic punches to create super booms, then it explains both their damage and their appearance. Canceled. Even though sonic booms are incredibly loud and transmit a lot of energy, getting hit with one wouldn't necessarily do a lot of damage. When the human body is hit with a shock wave, what we're really concerned about is called overpressure, or pressure over and beyond normal atmospheric pressure. When it's really high, it can, ca uh, it can cause hearing damage and also, uh, and also tear lung tissue. But even the biggest, loudest sonic boom ever recorded had an overpressure that didn't even phase the researchers that were recording it. That's fine too. Just like the curving motion, it makes sense. Guile's attack isn't high damage. It, uh, it chips away. The way Guile's sonic booms look also makes sense. 
Kinda. You've seen a photo like this, right? That's not actually a sonic boom happening. That's a vapor cone. When air moves supersonically over the surface of something like a jet, it has to curve around the jet's surfaces, and when it does so, it has to increase in velocity, which decreases pressure, which decreases temperature, which can cause fog to form, or a vapor cone. That's what you're seeing in this image, vapor cones forming not necessarily related to breaking the sound barrier. Now look at Guile's sonic booms. Those are probably think, vapor cones. Oh. Oh. Frame perfect. It looks like almost everything about Guile's sonic boom technique makes sense, but we haven't stated the obvious yet. Back of the envelope estimation, throwing a supersonic punch would probably subject your arm to something like a hundred times more than the force of a hundred kpm car crash. Guile has to be a lot tougher than you or me, because that kind of force would probably rip your arm off! My health is low. So, why does Street Fighter's famous sonic boom actually make sense? Well, given that Guile could punch supersonically without ripping his arm off, the curving technique would create overlapping boom carpets that would amplify each other and create a super boom, complete with visible vapor cone that would travel towards and damage opponents, at least a little. And super boom sounds way cooler than sonic boom. Because science. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you so much for watching, Mark. <laughs> if you want even more silly stuff, check out me and my colleague Dan Casey's new show, Plus Punch, where we get very silly about a very serious man. And if you want something a little bit more premium, check out my show that was here when I did that with my hands. It's pretty good. Goodbye. <laughs>